Good morning and welcome to the wellness segment of the show, Fresh. And we are here today in the dental offices of Dr. Norm Bryan and Dr. Anjana Gupta. And we are here talking about dental health, which goes way beyond the oral cavity. And we're going to talk to Dr. Gupta in just a second uh, more about that. But Dr. Bryan, in the coming weeks, you're going to focus on that oral cavity and how important it is for all of us to really be proactive in our dental health, aren't we? Absolutely. I think uh, everyone has their responsibility to keep their health up. And uh, certainly the oral cavity is a gateway to it. And uh, I want to do a little explanation about how important it is that we all see your dentist regularly. Uh, in these economic bad times, I think it's one of those things that people really need to bear in mind that they're paying a risk if they don't uh, see their dentists routinely. All right, Dr. Brian, look forward to that in the coming weeks. Thanks, Craig. Dr. Gupta, the first experience for a patient coming through your door is very critical. It's important both for the doctor and for the patient, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Craig. Um, one thing we want to go over today is uh, what that new patient experience is like. Um, when you make a choice to see a dentist or come to our office, um, we kind of want, want to let you know what that first experience is like. Um, most people are very fearful of that first experience or fearful of the cost or whatever reason they're choosing to find a dentist or go to a new dentist, we kind of want to you know, make that experience a positive one for them and let them know what they can expect. Well, you do a great job taking all the fear away, and I can tell you firsthand that it is absolutely true. I'm anxious to go into the treatment room and find out more. You want to do that? Let's go. All righty. We'll be right back. And we are back in the treatment room here at the dental offices of Dr. Norman Bryan and Dr. Anjana Gupta. And Dr. Gupta, again, that first time experience for a new patient can be a little bit, uh, can be a little bit filled with anxiety maybe, huh? But it doesn't have to be, and you're going to tell us why. Right. Um, one thing I think that people uh, fear the most or are most uncomfortable with when coming to a dentist for the first time is that fear of the unknown. Yep. You know, what mm -hmm. What are they going to find? What does it entail as far as procedures? What are the costs going to be? Um, so one thing we want to make sure we do at our office, which I think kind of sets us apart, is uh, make that first experience a very comfortable one. Um, one thing that we do is we do a very comprehensive first exam. So you're going to know Hopefully, you're going to need to know everything you need to know when you leave here that day. Now, uh, Dr. Gupta, is it important for people to bring their past dental records with them maybe on that first visit if they are visiting another dentist? Or maybe it's been a while? Sure. Sometimes that is appropriate. Um, it depends on the situation. Um, if you've been to a previous dentist and have past x-rays that are considered current um, within the last couple of years, then yeah, we always say bring what records you have access to and um, by all means, if we can use those records, we try to. Okay. Um, but on your first appointment, uh, usually what we try to do is have you see the doctor first. So you'll see either myself or Dr. Brian um, for a good hour, maybe hour and a half um, meeting. Um, and that session involves um, collecting all of our records. So the first thing we'll do is take images or x-rays. Um, and that usually involves two types of x-rays, one of which is called the panoramic x-ray, uh, which is a full view x-ray that shows us um, pretty much all the teeth, the bone level, um, the temporomandibular joints. Um, it's a real comprehensive x-ray. And then the second x-ray is called the bite wing x-ray, um, which most people are familiar with if you've been to the dentist where you bite on the little tabs. Um, those are the ones that show us cavities, if there's a cavity in the tooth. So that's the uh, example of the image I have up here. Uh, this is a bite wing x-ray. Um, and then I'll show you an example of the panoramic x-ray here. Now, how long have the panoramic x-rays been available to you? For some time? Oh, yeah, for a long time. Um, now we have um, all digital x-rays, uh, which are nice because you get the image in right away. There's no developing of any film. Um, the other huge benefit of the digital x-ray is that they're... 80 to 90 percent less radiation than the old type of that's film. important isn't it it is so if that was a fear for a patient the fear is gone the fear is gone that's right good, good. Um, so after we take our images um, we do a lot of data collecting we look at you know past um, 
dental procedures that you've had done, you know, existing conditions, missing teeth, things like that. Um, other than our technical data, we of course want to sit down and find out what the patient's motivation is, what their desires are, um, you know, what are they looking for by coming to our office. So you manage expectations that way, don't you? Exactly, exactly. Um, especially in a time like this where there's, um, you know, this economic status, um, you know, maybe right now just getting the routine cleanings and getting the routine exams and making sure that you're healthy is a person's priority. And by all means, um, that's something that's very important. So we want to take the, all those factors into consideration. All right. Anything else up there that we should be maybe looking at during that first time visit? Well, one thing that we're going to look at here that you might not see at another office is we're going to evaluate the temporomandibular joints. Um, we uh, have a special interest in treating the TMJ and treating sleep apnea. So if those are issues that need to be addressed, by all means, we're going to address those issues at that first appointment as well. Good information here today. And Dr. Gupta, if someone watching at home wants to connect with you and Dr. Brian, what's the best way to do that? Um, I think our website is one of our most valuable ways to kind of find out about our office. There's lots of good information on that website. Um, you can email me directly through that website if you have questions. Uh, so that's a nice way to have one-on-one -on -one contact sure with the doctor. Is. That's high touch, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and you don't mind people doing that? Not at all. Not at all. Sometimes to get information, you want to go directly to the source, and I think that's a great way to do it. And that website address for those at home? is www.drbryan.com. All right, Dr. Gupta, thank you so much. Very informational. Thank you. Thanks. Good to see you again, Craig. Good seeing you. And we'll be right back in just a moment, so stay tuned.